Hey guys, crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. And uh, Calvin, just the two of us, um, we want to get the Fear of the Walking Dead up as soon as possible. Yep. Last week, we were, about a, we were about a week late. Week late, yeah. So uh, it's just going to be just us two. Um, but I know that me and Calvin are going to have plenty to talk about when it comes sure. to <laughs> the Fear of the Walking Dead. As much talk as we had last time. Yep. And I don't know if I left it in, but Calvin, you, you're caught up with season one of The Walking Dead. Yes. Right? Have you watched the entire thing? I've watched all the way through, but okay. I haven't started into season two yet. Okay. Now, in the last episode, do I remember correctly that Rick gets whispered something to him? Yes. Yes? Do you yes, have any does. theory about what that could possibly be? I am not sure yet. Kind of starting to get yeah. to know the characters and everything. But... Now, the thing is with Fear of the Walking Dead is I feel like you're supposed to kind of know what that is. Yeah. Would you like a spoiler? Or would you rather do it organically? I think... Because if you, if you, cause I know what it is... Okay. It's just a it, mild, mild, mild spoiler. It has something to do with how people are infected. Okay. Okay. Would you want to know what it is? Or would you rather uh, be ignorant of that so that we have one person that doesn't know what it is, one person that doesn't? The only thing is we do that and we try to then analyze something. Then we're going to argue about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, huh. I don't know. If I, if I realize it organically, I would yeah. prefer to do it that way. True. Okay. Um... But as far as actual reaction and intelligent conversation and not just, no, you're wrong okay. because I'm, I'm stupid. All right, well, our, our audience knows yeah. what it is. So, guys, Calvin does read the comments sometimes, so do not put it in the comment section. I will yeah. delete everything that goes on there, all right? <laughs> so, sure. anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with Fear of the Walking Dead, uh, episode two. So close and yet so far. Let's hit the button. All right, three, two, one. You know what's kind of sad? Huh. Just watching this, I feel just as I'm just as caught up in watching yeah. the whole episode. Yeah, the, all the big things that yeah. happened were right there. I hope the pace goes up a bit. I mean, I, I guess the one good thing about it is that they're going from a standpoint where they are assuming that none of the audience knows what zombies are or what's happening. I, I guess so. But dang, I mean, The Walking Dead is so popular though that I don't know. I, I mean, wonder what I wonder. What I haven't was. started watching it until like yeah. a week ago. It's true. Oh. Yeah, but you still haven't seen Last Samurai. A question: Why did Calvin turn to a zombie? <sighs> Don't think about it too much because that's related to what we were talking about earlier. See, I think that you're supposed to know a little bit, you know, be caught up a bit. So we'll see, but you can probably guess why. We kind of didn't even think about asking you about it because we just knew. Yeah, it's interesting. True. I like the little title they got. It's pretty it's, cool. It's not too long. They just let it go. And they just get right back into it. Right back into the slow pace. <laughs> Look at a little blood driving splatter. around with a blood splatter on your hood. That's. I always hate in zombie movies whenever the person dies and they go to hug him and you have to wait for like 10 seconds to make sure he doesn't get bit. Yeah, you right. <sighs> Police brutality. Yeah. And L.A. is a desert. <laughs> it's not, look at it's, that place. It has no natural water source. He's living in a desert. I feel bad for Antoine. I guess. I mean, I guess it's not very humid. Alicia. No. That is one good thing. Yeah, you don't you, know, you don't rust out your cars over there. You can't just pick and choose. Can you just please call him? To tell her that, hey, they're dead people getting up. I hate See, when that, people's like, right? no, I'll explain it when I'm there. I'll yeah. explain it when I'm there. They don't actually use the right words. Say it. Fuck. A lot of these th problems that happen that are dramatic can be fixed with like two sentences. Proper communication. Two sentences. Two sentences. I just need you to call up the prescription so I can pick it up, but I'm really worried about him, and I think he really... Think he's going into um, withdrawal. It looks like. Yeah. You fucking kids! I've got places to be! I've got places to be! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I better top off that gas on. I saw a story today of a millionaire that bought his own cab company. Yeah. Got rid of all but one of the cars so that he could drive around in bus lanes. <laughs> and avoid traffic. Holy shit. Oh, that was funny. That's funny. 
What's he holding that guy for? Water. Why is the cop getting a bunch of water? Because he knows. Mm. He's got the scoop. You can tell when they, when people look at cops yeah. and they have that look in their eyes because they know. What a terrible, terrible place for the Armageddon to happen. L.A. Nobody fucking cares. Everybody's so callous to other people. Yeah. Now, the the one kid that knew something was going on, he said stuff was happening in other places, didn't he? Yeah, there were like... So L.A. isn't like ground zero. No. It's just, I think it's the place where it's spreading the quickest. Okay. Um, he said there were like six other attacks in the past like okay. three weeks or something like that. Mm. And they're increasing. I was kind of hoping we would get a little bit of an origin about what happened was happening, but I guess that would be too nice. All right, I like the little themes of uh, police brutality and... Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, it's probably realistic. Kind of goes figures with that. Out. I wonder if the victim was a, the homeless man was a black guy or not. I don't know. Kind of play with that Black Lives Matter thing. Yeah. Do you think that actor is English? I thought I got a little bit of Caught English a accent bit. in there. It, it sounded like it. Yeah. Just going after food. Smart kid. Yeah. Survive the longest. Oh, it's a single can. My gosh, if you were that worried, you could have stacked a few more cases on top of the boxes. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's just hey, trying to know. build, like, tension, tension and, and a sense of urgency. He got bit, he got it looks bit. like. By who? Is there more in the school? I mean, it seems like there would have to be. You're going to actually yeah, get it in the head. Is it not deep enough? It's it's not actually... Oh! Oh! No! Oh, shit. Right in the head. Go for the head! Do it again! Smash his head! Oh. There you go. Good. It's your first kill in a long series of kills. Where's his... Where's his shit? Just left it? It was up the stairs. I would have put at least as much as I could carry. Right? Yeah. Had to shoot him in the head. They did shoot him in the head? Yeah. There, okay. One of his eyes was out. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, the fuck out of there! They're going to shoot him in front of all his people? Probably. The police know. They definitely do. They know. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't it suck if there was, like, a zombie walk that day? Like, downtown, <laughs> and, like, nobody breaks character? That would be a good story. Oh my gosh. Zombie apocalypse during a zombie walk. Or a gay pride parade. <laughs> See, I like... I like Travis, because he has, he has it in his head. I need back door, roof access. Yeah. Gridlock. Jeez. And power's starting to go out. Oh, he's sitting there with our engines running. Yeah. Are we gonna get the crying while washing blood away scene? Yep. Yep. No. <laughs> I got him enough, you know, to wean him off. I mean, I'm taking to the desert and just wean him off. You should have just cold turkey. Well, you could die. Oh, well, yeah. If, if it's too stressful. And I think he might be feeling a little bit of stress. Well, that's true. I mean, you can die from alcohol withdrawal. That's true. Yeah, that digital fire is that's, not very good. I was going to say. Good. That was good. That's, that's realistic. Real. Yeah. People. What the fuck? You can't look out a window with a flashlight. You won't be able to see. Right? It's for film. <laughs> when we start making films, we're not going to do that, Eric. <laughs> You'd just be seeing white. I know. Especially shining it through blinds. It's like, ah. That's ridiculous. That completely took me out of this show. I... There she goes again. Oh, man. Is that the other neighbor? Yeah. What would you do? I'd probably go over there and kill that fucking guy. I'd, yeah. 
I I know for sure that I couldn't just sit yeah. in there and lock the door and listen to screams. Even though it might be like the, the right, not not morally right, but like the safer wise. thing to do. Yeah. I couldn't just yeah. sit there and listen to the screams. I need to stop because it was a girl. I don't know. Well, I mean, even, even if it was just, a guy, I know, I know. But especially, yeah, I yeah. agree. If it was a girl, like I mean, that's instincts. It's one of the legitimate scientific reasons that people argue why you shouldn't have women in the military because when other men see women being heard or screaming that they, they defy orders they they try to stop it regardless of their mission that kind of stuff yeah well i can understand it that'd yeah. be a very difficult thing to ignore yeah you know? yeah i don't think i could yeah anyway it was a good episode um yeah. still i mean it's even though there's a lot of stuff happening now it's still relatively slow paced in the sense that there's not there, a whole lot of urgency yeah. when i say urgency i mean like no one ran, <laughs> you know? No. Except for, like, whenever they were getting away from the riots, really. Yeah, that was the first and only time they ran, and yeah. even then they were, like, walking down the street. Yeah. People were running by them, yeah. causing a commotion. So we're getting to the slow build. Um, Hopefully it just takes off. Yeah, we'll see. I'm interested to, I'm interested because, obviously, the cops know something are happening. They yeah. They know something's happening because that woman walking towards her, she I, recognized her. She recognizes and goes for the head. Yeah. The police are also sur- storing water, and he was looking at the person suspiciously, looking at him. I wonder if, like, the police are kind of circling the wagons, and, like, they see everybody else as, like, a potential uh, walker. Like, yeah. You know? Well, I could see that. You know, if if they were briefed, hey, this is what's happening. Yeah. They weren't you know, talking to the public at all. They weren't. They, they weren't explaining anything. That kind of coincides with what I thought was going on weird at the hospital with tying people down. Yeah. I think the government knows what's happening. And they just and don't they, want to cause a panic. They don't want to cause a panic. Yeah. I, I'm sure a lot of the viewers want me to ask you, why do you think Calvin turned into a zombie? He was not bit. He died. <sighs> Something on the skin that once, like... On the I know skin, he, was he a, didn't... He was a drug dealer. Yeah. Um... Maybe when he was shot, it actually penetrated into the bloodstream and started. But why would it? So, like, so he just touched somebody that had it and then it mixed in, maybe? Well, I was thinking because a lot of people are going to the hospital and getting flu shots. Flu shots. Yeah. That it's actually by way of mm-hmm. needle. Yeah, maybe. That could possibly mm-hmm. be. I so badly want to tell you. I kind of want to know now. I want. I, I people are screaming like, "Tell them!" Okay. Okay. All right. Tell me. All right. And this is only the piece of information. Like then we can speculate about it. Okay. In The Walking Dead, it's revealed that everybody already has the virus. If you get bit by a zombie, the bacteria in their saliva will kill you. If you die, you come back as a zombie. You already uh, have the virus. See, I thought about that. Yeah. So when Calvin was killed and shot, he, he already immediately has came it. back. All of our characters most likely already have the virus. If they die, they'll turn back. If they're bit by a zombie, they'll be they'll, killed. They don't turn into a zombie if you're bit. You die if you get bit by a zombie. And then yeah. the virus restarts. Yes. The, the, Everything. Yep. Like what the CDC guy, the scientist. Mm-hmm. And when you think about the title, that means that our characters are already the walking dead. Oh, anyway. shit. <laughs> Anyway, so... This blew now, my mind. Yep. Now, I wanted to <laughs> tell you that because the new information we're getting is that there's some kind of flu going around and people are getting shots. So, if everybody's already infected, the one question we never got is how did everybody get infected? Is it is it something... Is there some kind of, like, disease spreading that a side effect is the flu? And it probably... And maybe the, if you've died of the flu, then you become a zombie? Is this a military bioweapon... That went crazy. I don't know. We don't. No one knows anything about the start. Okay. Right. We can only what the actual source yeah, of. The... All we know is that everybody is already infected with the virus. Okay. It could have been the food. It could have been water supply. It could have been something. Could have but been air may, Maybe this flu they're talking about is a clue of what happened. I don't know. That's what. I'm, that's why I want to speculate about. But that's interesting. Yeah. So it kind of made like it was something that was just jumping around my mind like. Yeah. So far beyond, like, what's the most ridiculous thing that I could think yeah, of? I don't think that it's you like could. Everybody have, already has it. You couldn't have guessed it. I don't think. I no. 
Because I like your idea that maybe there's something on his skin and it hits him and then hits his bloodstream and that's what turns him in. That was a good idea. I, but not right. But not real. No, wrong. Because the body way. has systems yeah. like the nostrils. Antibody. Yeah, yeah. That actually filter out mm-hmm. those kind of things. Yeah. But the skin is the largest and the largest most, organ. other than the brain, most remarkable organ of the body. Yeah. You're right. It's waterproof, yet retain can absorb yeah can absorb water yeah. when it needs to it can sweat mm-hmm. it can remain elasticized yep yeah. and it can heal it's flexible it can it's <laughs> self-healing basically yeah, yeah. yep that's yeah, pretty crazy and we can feel through it <laughs> yep and we get goosebumps which i hear is like a it might be a trait left over from when we had more hair and so when you feel threatened or you get excited and your hair crackles raise that way you try to get you try to you know get enlarge big. your stature. Yeah. So anyway, it's an interesting theory. Yeah. Uh, but back to walk fear of the Walking Dead. Back to fear of the Walking Dead. I mean, there's really not much else to say other than not really other than we're kind of just waiting for things to get going. Um, I, I just feel like if I were in charge of these actors, I'd just be like, good, just. Faster and more intense. Let's get more into this thing. You know, that's the yeah. classic George Lucas direction. Yeah. Well, the thing, like, I didn't really notice it too much in the first one because I was I was focusing on the characters and mm-hmm. the interaction a lot. But in this one, I definitely noticed there were scenes where the characters would run, and in the very next scene, they would walk. Yeah. And they would run and then walk. The and urgency back and forth. not carrying over. No. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like a lot of these shots were not made close to the same time that's that, that could be a thing and i mean th- it's an issue with directing i think it's just an issue with they're trying to tackle a couple different tones at once they're trying yeah. to tackle skepticism they're trying to tackle urgency police brutality uh drug abuse <laughs> yeah uh Broken families, uh, stepbrothers and sisters, and cats and dogs living together. Living together, yeah. mass hysteria. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I, I I I enjoy it. I'm gonna we're gonna keep going yeah. here. Um, it's definitely picking up. It's picking up. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, I think that's yeah. it. I think that's it. Make sure you guys look for our uh, reaction to uh, episode three's preview. Yeah, and we'll see you guys back here next week. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. See you guys later.